Welcome. It's so good to be with you on this Wednesday as we get together for a little midweek Bible study and devotional time. And I'm so glad you've taken some time out of your day to, to join us to do just that today. You know, the psalmist says in Psalm chapter 5, verses 1 through 3, O oh Lord, hear me as I pray. Pay attention to my groaning. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I pray to no one but you. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. You know, the words from the psalmist reveal a couple of things. One that we're pretty good at and one that we're not so good at. The easier thing, the thing that we're you know, pretty good at, at least most of the time, as the psalmist says, is each morning I bring my requests to you. You know, most of the time we don't really struggle to bring our requests to the Lord. And not just in the morning, right, but at noontime and late in the afternoon and before we go to bed at night and really throughout, throughout all the day. And by the next morning, we can start a new list, by the way. Uh, you know, our list of requests can be long and, and detailed. Sometimes maybe they're shorter, but, you know, we, we often don't struggle to, to bring things that we want fixed before the Lord. Lord, this is what I want to happen in this situation, and this is how I want this problem to be resolved. Lord, I, I want you to do this, and Lord, I hope you'll hurry up and, and do this other thing while you're at it. Uh, we can even presume that we know what the Lord thinks is best. Lord, I, I know you would not want this to happen to me, or you would want this to happen to me, or Lord, I know that you wouldn't want me to be unhappy, right? All of those things and others can at some times fill up our requests. And of course, we bring our requests to the Lord in the morning, and yet the reality is that by the middle of the day, our requests can change, right? Our desires may be totally different than they were early in the morning. And when our agenda changes, we're very good at asking the Lord to change the plans that we had previously requested. Then, if need be, we'll change the request made at noon to better suit our desires before we go to bed and so on and so forth. You get the point being that we don't often struggle with bringing our requests to the Lord in the morning or whenever it may be and letting him know what we want and how we expect him to respond to our circumstances. Here's the hard part, though. Here's the part we're not so good at as the psalmist to use the psalmist's words, and wait expectantly. And really, it's not even the expectantly part that's the problem. The problem is the wait part. Once we've presented our request to the Lord, we're ready for it to happen. We're ready for him to resolve or make whatever we want to happen, happen. We act toward the Lord not unlike how we act towards our computer or our phone or some device where we hit a button and we expect immediate you know, resolution or immediate response, right? And we get frustrated if it doesn't give us that instant response that we expect. We want it now. We expect it now. We're disappointed when it doesn't happen now. We just can't understand why our requests are not granted now. We don't often struggle to present our requests to the Lord. But waiting for him to respond, well, that's, that's a whole different ball game. But those words from the psalmist, to wait expectantly, and really all of Scripture speaks to this idea of waiting and trusting in God's timing and God's activity. But those aren't just words for a different way of living. They're words for a better way of living, the best way of living, in fact. Because when we bring our request to the Lord and we wait expectantly for Him, we can trust that he does pay attention to our groanings, as the psalmist says, that he does hear our cries for help, and he will respond as he determines is best. And until he responds, we will do what we can do and wait expectantly for him to do what only he can do. And when he responds, we will trust him, knowing that he always responds in our best interest and that he will continue to respond in a way that draws us closer to him and makes us more like Jesus. Hope you have a blessed day. God bless.